Today I'm going to build an enabled prosthetic hand. Recently, I heard about enabling the future. There are many people in the world who were born without fingers or have lost them through accidents or diseases. There are traditional prosthetics for these people, but they are expensive, require professional attention, kids will grow up them really quickly, and they are not available in remote areas of the world. Enable is trying to fix that by using 3D printing. Using free designs, anyone can print hands for people that need them. But not everyone has a 3D printer. That's where enablingthefuture.org comes in. They don't just provide the designs. They also connect volunteers with those that need hands. Using 3D printing, the community can build hands for anyone in the world. This is especially good for kids that can outgrow their hands. Using the low cost of 3D printing, new hands can be printed frequently. So today, I'll be building a hand and sending it off to enable the future so they can give it to someone that needs it. I started by going to the enablingthefuture.org site to choose the hand that I wanted to build. After that, it was a simple case of loading up the files into the 3D printing slicer software to create the printed files. With all the parts printed and a few extra parts, we can put it together starting with the fingers. Each finger is held to the palm by two pins. Next, we move on to the gauntlet. This part, we will need to thermoform into a shape. We will need to soak the part in hot water to soften up the print. Then, we lay it on the form and shape it. Once it cools down, it's ready. Then, just attach it to the palm and add on the gripper bar. Next step is to attach the rubber band that will pull the fingers straight. The last and final part is to string the fingers and tension them to the gripper box. That's it. I'll be sending it to enablethefuture.org, who will send it to someone that needs it. I am hoping to regularly build more hands to send off to people in need. And I also encourage anyone to give it a try. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can find a local enablethefuture.org chapter to find a local makerspace or library that has one. You don't have to be an adult or super skilled. Anyone can take part to make a difference. Again, I highly recommend everyone to go to enablingthefuture.org.